Hello, 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 People will complain like is that you? Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Anyways, um we are still concerned our gang adjectives lesson and we'll be looking at the fifth part in the gang adjective series. That's the gang adjectives five and superlatives in gang. No polomo. Ni yoga su choloi ahi. Yeah. And you know, in English, we have this uh, superlative. I'm the best. I'm this. I'm that. I, uh, he is the best. She's the most intelligent. Okay. We've already learned from the previous one about comparatives, how to compare issues and situations. This one is just our superlative. So, um, without much time, with, let's just dissect this. Okay, so the superlative, um, God, in English, you have the most, or maybe ending with S, but in God, it's just Fifi, 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 you know, in a comparative, it's only Fi, but in the superlative, you add Fi to the Fi, so Fifi, first of all, Fi means than if you remember from the previous gun and it is four and fair means all so than all so bigger than all better than all um knowing than all so fair than all so let's take some examples and he means it is good, if you remember from the previous lesson. So, it is good than all. That's the literal translation. It is good than all. So, it means it is the best. It is the best. So, ene means this. So, this is the best. Or literally, this is good than all. That's the literal translation. But it's the best. That's the actual translation. Ene hifefe. So if this is ene, how do you say that? That is no. No. So no hifefe. So uh, let's take another example. Da. E da fefe. It is the biggest. It is the biggest. What da fe ne fe? What da we are big fe than ne fe? We are big than you all, so we are the biggest. What da fe ne fe? So um, let's take another one. Ni eshika, ni eshika fe. They will add. Ni uh, eshkafefe, ni is the richest. Ni eshkafefe, ni has money than all. Ni is the richest. Or better still, ni eshkafefe mofemo. Ni is richer than everyone. So mofemo brings us to another part of this lesson. Okay. When we say mofemo, mofemo means everyone or every person or everybody. Mofemo. So in Ghana. You just take a word like person. More means person. They add fair, they repeat the person again. So more fair more. So let's say thin ni or no. No fair no. No fair no. So no fair no. Thin is no. So no fair no. Everything. Echo means some. So echo fair echo. That's um, echo fair echo. It's like. Anything or everything. So we have more femo, anyone or everyone or everybody. No feno, 
anything. Echo Fenko means also is also anything. How many I'm coming? Let me get a different between echo fenko and not fair no. How many echo fenko? Give me anything. Or give me any of them. How many not fair no? So I think echo fenko and not fair no, they mean the same thing, so you can interchange them. Yeah. Then we have he fair he. He fair he. He fair means everywhere or anywhere. He fair he. So me ya he fair he. I'm going anywhere. Me ya he fair he. Me ya he fair he ni he fair. I'm going anywhere. That is the best. Me ya he fair he ni he fair. I'm going anywhere. That's the best. I'm going anywhere. That's better than all. Then we have befebe. Be means time. So befebe. It means any time. Befebe. Then we have be. Be means day. So befebe. Any day. So befebe. Any time. Befebe. Any day. So hope you are getting how. So you just take the word add fair, then you repeat it again. So now let's go back to feda. We fled to fair. That's. We have feda. Feda means um, feda. Okay, let me create this again. I mean, feda is more like than any time or than any. This also a superlative construction. So let's take a shika feda. He has money than any other day. So da means day, just like be. So you can, but then in this case, like in than any other day. So a eh, shika feda, he has money than any other day. Or better still, you can replace da with befebe. Fe befebe. So a eh, shika fe befebe. Or a eh, shika fe da. So befebe reflects about it any time. Or any day. So a eh, yeah, so more like a eh, shika fe da, he is richer than any day. Or is, or a eh, shika fe befebe is richer than any other day. Mene, in me share he feda. Today I'm, today I'm the happiest. Okay, that's the literature. Today I'm the happiest, but you may say that today I'm the I'm happier than any other day. Mene, in me share he feda. Oh me he share oh he feda. You are happier than any other day. Oh me he share oh he feda. Eda, eda means it is big. So you can say eda fe fe as you know or eda agbo. Agbo means huge, so it is big huge. Yeah, like kind of weird, but that's how it's said in that. Eda agbo. It is big huge, so it is the biggest. Or it is very, very big. Eda agbo. Enani means he sees. Or she sees in a name. In a name, if you think, um, he or she is the most seen, or he, he or she sees the most in a name, if you think, or in a name, if it does, he sees more than any other day in a name, if it does, or in a name, if it be fairly. Okay, let's take another example that's a and e. He is eating or she's eating. A and if he is he is the most eaten, something like that. A and if he da is eating than any other day, or any if be fair be. Then let's take maybe intelligent. Nili intelligence is nili intelligence nili. So to be intelligent. Um, he's intelligent. Eleni, Eleni. So Eleni Fefe, he's the most intelligent. Eleni Fefe, Eleni Feda, he's he's more intelligent than any other day. Eleni Feda, he's more intelligent than any other day. Or Eleni Fefe, he's more intelligent than any other time. Yeah, befem be appropriately translated as time, but you can still make it day. It's also correct. 
So Kande means light if you remember from Gand this is two. So Kande means the light is brighten. Okay. So Kane Mpe. Kane Mpe. If you remember, I told that me from Gan Cotton's pronouns, okay. That's the right way, but over time we've absorbed them. So let me see if I could. Can you mean or can you mean you can just say the me or you can absorb the me? So anytime you use a noun, okay, without using a pronoun, you know the pronouns e o a one ye ame. After those, I don't need the me, but then when you are naming a noun like light or human name, coffee. Ni na bed, you are naming it. Then to make it continuous, you need me, okay. But then, you know, um, in, in a typical gang society, you not hear the me, you hear them absorb it as m. So can you m be? That has how you hear m brother. So can you m be? And then the nungwa teshi comes. They say can you m be? Is, you you don't really hear the N, you really hear an N sound. Kanyen pe. But then, so either way, so you can still say the Kanyen me pe. It's all correct. So, Kanyen pe or Kanyen pe or Kanyen me pe. So, the light is brightening. Than any other day, Kanyen me pe wa feda. Kanyen me pe. You can say Kanyen me pe feda. Okay, or can I mean pe wa feda? Wa means very. So can I mean pe wa feda? Or can I mean pe wa fe be fe be? Or better still, can I mean pe fe fe? The light is the brightest. Or the light is brightening the most. Something like that. Can I mean pe fe fe? And if, and if you learnt uh, ene or no, means this or that. So ene is this. So you can see, can you hear in this light? Can you hear in there? Can you hear me perfect thing? This light is brighter than all. So we say light this. If you remember from that adjectives one, we learned how we construct adjectives in that. Can you hear in Or can you hear? You know, this in that. Okay, let me talk about this in that. This in that, you can see it as in and when I put it in sentence, you can use still use the N or N. They are both correct. Okay, so they are both correct. So, can you N or can you N? So what a difference? Right? That I said can you N the light this. Okay, can you because the is joining the noun can you then this must be N. But if I want the the to rather go to no can you N. So can in eh remember gun articles? We have the formal one le so can in le that's the formal can in le or can in that's the informal. I know spoken gun is informal and written gun is formal. So can in le this light or can in this light. Either one you, you, you should use is correct. So can in perfect thing this light is written down. Can it never mean bell wafe fan? This particular light or this light is very, is very, is by God, translating God to this is very complicated. This light brightening very the most. I think that's the only way I can translate. You know, some words make sense in English, in God, sorry, but when I bring it to English, it's very complicated to translate. So that's how most I try to, to do the literal translation so you get the concept. Okay. So at least you got the concept of fefe, feda, fe fe We've learned about eco feco, he fe he, mo fe mo, no fe no, he fe he. We'll pause here for now. We still have gun against six and seven where we are going to learn again about. The positioning of adjectives uh, and then we'll be forming sentences random sentences but this time we'll be looking at maybe the elephant is huge and those type of sentences it's going to be that six and seven then we'll break for the year 
But we will still come back to Ajati because you are not done yet. Because Ajati is an integral part of the Ghana language. We are supposed to learn plurality, plurality in the Ghana language. Not the plurality. Then we are coming back to Ghana Ajatis again. So we will have a lesson Ghana plurals 1, Ghana plurals 2. Yeah, it, it could be two to three lessons. I've not structured it yet. Before we are going to Ghana plurals and adjectives. So we are not there, but we have to understand the concept of adjectives in different series for you to get because it's integral. It's integral in the Ghana language. But we are going to learn how adjective of numbers. So we'll go back to the Ghana numbers again. How to say one, two, three. Because we are not going to use the one, two, three to form adjectives. So person is one, will it be singular or plural? If it is two, how would it affect? Where would it be positioned? And then before the plurals itself. So for adjective is going to be very integral. Then we'll go back to Gan basis seven, Gan basis eight, Gan basis nine, Gan basis ten. Yeah. And how to say the time in Ga. We have a whole lot. And the questions, right? After the ga adjectives there are two more adjective lessons we have for this year i will launch the ga exams on this channel so it will come as a post and you all take the exams that's by your discretion so this has going to go and the form is set to collect your email and the marking is going to be manual well the system will mark you all right but the result you get is not final because uh, some of you may not have the gun alphabet installed so if you don't have it this is what you're going to do kindly go to google if you're using an android phone can you go to um settings when you get to settings scroll down to languages keyboard and input and when you get there, select input, then go to more or more languages. When you go to more languages, look for either Dangbe or Dagbani. You know, for the Ghana keyboard has not been aggregated yet into the Google system. But I know very soon it will be done. So for now, you can use Dagbani. Use Dagbani. That will be more appropriate. So when you select Dagbani, okay, then just... Use that. Or better still, you can download Ghana Keyboard from Google Play Store or Chale Keyboard. Chale C H A R L E Y. Chale Keyboard. When I'm done downloading that, you just integrate it. Because uh, the whole thing is set to Mac in Ghana. But yes, I'll review everything manually. So yes, it will give us a max, but do not base on that. I will review everything manually and release those scores. Yeah, I think it's over 50 marks. And it's very easy. So please give your functional email so that when the scores are released, it, send the, it sends the results automatically into your email. Because if you send a false email, you may not know your actual scores. Yeah. And for now, we are now starting. So the exams, I will not add time and all those things. But going ahead, we'll be getting time functions and all that just to make sure. So yes, the plan for this channel is very great. Not just learning, but monitoring your monitoring your le your learning, having cultural lessons. To know while in the language. You also know about the culture of the Ghana people. And in as much as you are learning the language, you are supposed to at least know the Ghana culture. So kindly search rows of Ghana chiefs to learn about the Ghana chief system. That is rows of Ghana chiefs in the Ghana society. You, you may find the link in the description box below or rolling on the screen. Yeah. And thank God for YouTube updates. You can just check the description box below and access the videos. Also, vote a uh, Ghana traditional region. Kindly search it. You will see our symbol, which is the yellow symbol. Kindly learn. Yeah. And like I said earlier, we have two more Ghana lessons to end the year. And 
perhaps I'm not really promising, but perhaps we may release one Dangbe lesson on the ordinal numbers in Dangbe. Perhaps, yes. And we end the year. So, thank you very, very much for joining us once again. If you have any questions, do well to ask. If you wish to contact me on Telegram, I'm fully attended on Telegram. You can connect to the description box to access it. I have my WhatsApp contact is also in the description box below. If you wish to WhatsApp me, maybe for private classes, to perhaps you are coming to Ghana and you have so many questions, you want to talk, you can just contact me. If you wish to see more about Ghana, I have tall videos about Ghana. Can you search No Ghana Better Tour? You may not find it in the description box below, so can you search it? Yes, I have tall videos. Um, you will send, send me personal email, uh, No Ghana Better, if you wish to. Also, uh, we have our Telegram page. Well, I'm not the one directly managing that, but every lesson here the links the links are being shared to that page so in case you wish to stay updated on to what's happened on this channel you may just link up to the telegram page Ghanaian languages advocacy and all i'll say is thank you very very much if you wish to follow us facebook too we are not gonna better with Hunya on facebook Nah, yeah, you wanna do Go, go.